Good morning, guys. We are in Madeira Beach right now. We are going to be heading on a 24 hour offshore fishing adventure out to Jurassic Park. You know, you've heard me talk about Jurassic Park, land of the dinosaurs before, but this time we're going for real. Uh, we're taking the Nortec, taking the 40 foot Nortec. We're going to head about 100 or so plus miles offshore and stay the night out there. We are supposed to be leaving at about. How's it going, man? What up? This will be leaving at 8.30, so we're uh, running behind. We have GPS issues? Yeah, sort of. Sort of. So, normal boating problems. But we're going to be heading offshore, catch some dinosaurs here shortly. Around like that? Damn it. Hey, technically it didn't work. God, that thing did well to tell right back to you guys, ain't it? That was the part we needed. That we just broke. What? The outside? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, dude. Yeah. Oh, my God. All right, we finally got everything up and running. Everybody's aboard. We just took attendance. I was the last person they checked to see if was here. I was here or not. But uh, I think we're gonna have a good time. We're gonna get some fuel still. Yes, sir. We gotta get all the fuel, not just some fuel, all the fuel. We're gonna go. We're shooting for like a an hour departure. It looks pretty glass calm. I don't know if you guys can see how calm it is out here. But uh, we're gonna go out. We're gonna whack some fish. So we'll see you guys out there. All right, we are out here, guys. We are about 100 miles offshore. Look how calm it is. This is amazing. It took us about, what, hour and 20 minutes to get out here? Hour and a half? An hour. Yeah, we, we, we kind of went fast. I think it's gonna be a good time. We're uh, putting out some trolling lures. I got a couple Savage and uh, got some Rapala mag Magnums out. And we're just trolling right now. And we're about two miles away from this really awesome ledge. And hopefully we're gonna go catch some fish there. So stay tuned. I think we're gonna have an awesome afternoon as the sun goes down and we're gonna catch something big. So make sure you follow along. Snapper, that's a snapper. What do you think it is, Ryan? Captain Dave informed me that this is a uh, giant snapper. <laughs> Bar jacks. You can eat anything if you're hungry enough. Not big, but it is a fish. Got me one. <laughs> that is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. I've never seen anything like it. I'm, I'm in the fucking hole. Never seen it. I'm in the hole. No, like four. What? <laughs> four. Yeah. four. Porgy. Oh, pork. Porgy. What you got on? What you think you got, Aubrey? Something small. Something small? Story of my life. Oh, about to get that, um, oh a remora is about to rip my rod out of the boat. That was so <laughs> literally, I, I don't practice what I preach. I literally tell people never to leave a bay hanging over the side of the boat, and I do it 100 miles offshore. Oh, nice little mango. We'll take her. All right. Hey, that's the first fish in the boat. First fish in the boat that we can keep. Yeah. Bring it out. Little red grouper. Protected species now. Ooh, fuck off. All right, so real quick, guys, we just pulled up to this spot about 100 miles offshore. We're just using some one ounce to two ounce jig heads, one to two ounce weights. We're basically just putting greenbacks, pinfish, and shrimp on the bottom, catching some fish out here. So, if you come out here and you run over some good bottom like I just showed you on the screen, you want to drop something down to them because that means there's fish. So, what you got? Snapper? You can see color. Looks like another one. Tail, oh, remora, tail hooked.
somebody else's line. Cheers. You got a fish. Hold on a second. You got a fish too? I'm not doing that. Hold on, he's cutting his. Actually, it might be mango. No. No. Endangered red snapper. Good one on right there. Yeah. Pull some good. drag. Really good. Awesome. Yeah, this is gonna be something big right here. Yeah, this is a big fish. This is not something small. Light tackle. What do you think it is? Big snapper. What were you using? Tell everybody what you're using. But what size jig head, what size leader? Part of YouTube. If you guys, we can we can tell you what we're using. We just can't give you the Latin longs. You got to pay for those. They are for sale though. That's a good one right here. A red snapper. Yeah. Yes, sir. Can't get away from these red snapper. So we just go to Louisiana real quick and catch them over there and come back and keep four right now. What do you think it is? It's pulling drag. Snapper. Old red, endangered red snapper. Probably. Nah, man, it's a big mango. Big, big mango. That's a tango mango. Is it? I don't know. We're, I'm optimistic, BD. Got it. Nope, there's a shiny. It's a big one, though. Nice one. What you got on? Oh. Ah, he's going for the bo bottom. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's too big for it's. How big do you think he is? Pretty big. Fish. Definitely a nice fish. Is that in the way? Double hook up right now, guys. Double hook up. Did you get out there, Al? Nah, I ain't gonna work that shit. It's gone. Yeah, that's gone. It's a little big fucking jack. That's what you wanna see. Decide to show up. That, 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 little snapper. Bro, you gotta hit me with it? Oh, nice little party. <laughs> you beating. Oh, nice fish on right now. What do you think it is? Grouper? I don't know. has got something nice on too. Yeah. Shark. Yep. Yeah. Boom, nice gag. Holy, Holy fuck, go, Al. Go. I got him. You got him? You got him here. Al, let me get him. We got him. Nice fish right there, man. Woo! You got a Kobe yet? 
Oh, that's a massive hook. Oh, yeah, baby. Bro, that's a nice grouper right there, dude. What do you think about that? It's yeah, fucking awesome. Yeah. Golly, oh, holy fuck. Bearing, babe. Oh, I'm gonna come down. Come down. Nice old mango snapper right there. Tango nice. with the mango. Fish on the rod, fish on the big rod. Big boy. Big old mangrovey. <laughs> I thought you were, but you, I don't think you are anymore. I think you're, you're past your prime. Here's gaskets, Kobe. Kobe, I can see it. Oh! Wow. <sighs> Where did he break you off? Alright, it's the next day. Had kind of a rough night for my end. Uh, we caught a bunch of mangrove snapper, but unfortunately I did something very stupid. I got snagged on the bottom, and after being snagged on the bottom like five times in a row, instead of uh, reeling my line tight and holding my spool, I gave this rod a big old jerk. And then as you can see, or maybe you can't see yet, but cut my face up when I broke this uh, bull bay rod uh, by high sticking it too much just because I was frustrated. So. Don't let frustration get the best of you so you don't end up with a face mark, breaking a rod. I laid down about uh, two or three last night and then it started raining. So luckily I, we brought some rain gear. Always got to be prepared for anything out here. And then the, I don't know if you can tell, but the wind has really picked up. We got like three to fours out here and uh, occasional five foot waves coming by. But this Nortec, I got to say, I'm really impressed. It's really good. And the Sea Keeper, look how still the boat is right now. We would be rocking without a sea keeper right now. So shout out to sea keeper. But we're trying to get the anchor unstuck right now. We anchored down uh, for a few hours and I guess we drug and we're, uh, we're stuck on something. So we're trying to figure out if we're gonna go dive down and get it. About a hundred foot of water or what we're gonna do. So we're gonna let them make that choice. It's not my boat, not my decision. All right, fist bumper ride for the extra effort without having to get in the water. Well, instead of fishing this morning, guys, uh, we got a few people getting sick. Anchor's not really wanting to hold, it's so wavy. We're gonna uh, start making our way back, see if we can't beat ourselves up too bad. Look at that but, wave. I know, there are big, there's some big waves out here. Really big. For sure. You're looking backwards, you need to look right there. All right, we just got back to the dock. We're filleting a lot of these big snappers. Got a couple hind groupers, porgies. Pretty much got a really awesome smorgasbord of fish. We ended up headed in a little bit earlier than we were hoping, but uh, it was pretty rough out there. It was like four to six out there this morning. Got hit with some rain about 3 a.m. and it just pretty much went downhill from there. So we uh, took an extra four or five hours to get in because it was really rough. And then kind of calm down as we got close to shore. But we're getting the boat cleaned up, got everything unloaded, and uh, gonna clean these fish up. We're gonna take them home, cook them up for you guys, let you guys see what a uh, middle grounds uh, catch and cook looks like. 